All right, guys, thank you for hopping on uh, this morning. Uh, we'll get this uh, webinar started here. Um, we're just going to give it just a little bit more time for a couple more people to hop on, and then we'll, we'll get started. So thank you for your patience. All right, guys, just, uh, just a couple more minutes and uh, two more minutes, two more minutes. We'll get this thing started. All right, welcome to today's webinar. This is Echo Trading Onboarding. Um, so we're going to be going through the whole Echo Trade system A to Z on how to get set up um, and yeah, how to get up and running. And so I'm just going to share my screen with you guys here. Um, and yeah, welcome. So um, first things first, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping before uh, we get started and just plug you into some resources that we, we do have. Um, if you haven't already gotten your Echo EDU um, activated, uh, make sure you do that in the echotradebot.com um, backend, back office, and get that updated. And if you're like brand new to Forex, you're brand new to trading, uh, then it'd be really crucial that you go through a lot of the video courses, the trading essentials. If you guys don't even know what a pit is, if you guys don't know what lot size is, um, or if you're just confused with a lot of the terminology, please go check this out. Um, but you do have to get activated, very similar to how we're going to get activated um, with all the uh, Echo Trade bots. And so um, definitely go give that a whirl. And then with the uh, YouTube channel, I'll put this link in there. After this webinar, if you guys are like still confused, if you guys are still feeling like, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do certain things, um, go give this video um, a little listen. Go, go, uh, go watch it. I just posted, I just posted the link in the chat here. Um, but yeah, so this will, this will basically go up a lot, a lot of, cover a lot of the stuff that I'm going to cover today. Um, but, and this session is being recorded, by the way. I know people are always wondering and they're asking, um, but this is being recorded. So after today, you can go review, um, go watch what we just did. So let's get started. So this is after the fact that you've already, you know, you funded your brokerage account. Um, you got that all, all figured out. And now you're trying to connect the software, um, the broadcasting system to your account. And so the very first thing you need to do, this is digitalprofit.io back office. You need to log into this. And the first thing you need to do is go to Echo, uh, Echo Trading. And so it's going to bring you to a Telegram. 
And that telegram is going to look very similar to, to this. And so let me just kind of shrink everything down a little bit. Here we go. So um, when you guys get to this point, um, hold on one second. Let me see if I move this. There we go. Okay. So let me scroll to the very top. So when you guys get to this part of, of the um, registration of activating your account, it's gonna walk you through a, a setup and it's just gonna hit, you're gonna hit that start button and it's gonna say processing your account. Hello, Peter, welcome to Echo Trade. Um, and then it's gonna authenticate your, your email address and then your username. And then once you've been successfully verified, um, there's going to be a little pop-up menu. And if this doesn't pop up for you down here, um, then you just need, there's a little button that you can hit to this little like uh, four square button down here. You need to click that and you want to go to Echo Forex products. Um, and so when you hit that, um, it's going to pull up this other sub menu and you want to do Echo FX broadcast. And when you click this, this is going to show you all the products that you are um, subscribed to, whether that's Elevate, Paradise, or Freedom. And uh, through, through that, um, after that, then you're going to have to go to echotradebot.com after you've done that. So to view all products, it's going to take you back to digitalprofit.io, but then really you just have to go to your um, echotradebot.com log in with the email. So whatever email that you use for digitalprofit.io, you're going to log in. It's going to give you a one-time one -time password. So back to the Echo Trade Bot, right? You're going to hit this, copy selected text, put it in, and then it's going to bring you, um, it's going to bring you back to the back end. And so once you guys are here, this is where the like the very first step that you need to take is actually go to uh, view or uh, add MetaTrader. And so when you add MetaTrader, um, guys, the broker that you signed up with and funded with, that broker is going to give you um, your account number, your password, and your MetaTrader server. And all of these have to be verbatim. All of these have to be exactly as they gave you. So, you know, pull up that email side by side, copy and paste whatever login information that you have, and then hit add MetaTrader. Now, guys, if you get this part wrong, if you miss one character, you miss one number in your password or the server, it won't connect and you're going to run into connection issues. And so after you add that, you want to go to view MetaTraders afterwards. And you want to go, you'll, you'll see the account you just added. And if you look to the far right over here and underneath status, um, the first thing that you're going to see is deployed. It's going to be like a yellow bar. It's going to say deployed. And that means it is, it is looking to connect. It is searching to connect. And so um, after about five minutes, give it about five minutes. Um, and then you might want to refresh this page. Um, and you should get a a status of completed, a green bar completed. That means you've typed in your credentials correctly. Um, and that means your account was added successfully. Now let's talk about the, if you do type it in wrong and it says status failed. Um, it can fail for a couple of reasons, but the main reason is again, the account information. You wanna go to this green plus button right here and you want to hit terminate. You have to kind of, you have to go add the MetaTrader all over again. So hit, you will want to go to that um, MetaTrader that failed, hit terminate. And after you hit terminate, go back to MetaTrader, make like double check, triple check the uh, login credentials and then hit add. And then it should, it should come back completed. If it still comes back failed, you know, you know like 100% that you've added it correctly. And there must be something more on, on the back end of things that we have to, and then, you know, just please uh, submit like a support ticket. But usually that doesn't happen. So after you have added and successfully added the, your MetaTrader 4 account to the Echo Trade panel, and then you want to go to subscriptions. You want to go to my subscriptions, and then 
you want to whatever whatever product that you have um, sub subscribed to, whether that's Paradise Freedom or Elevate, you want to go to the configure tab on the right hand side. And then you'll see the MetaTrader account. And all you have to do, guys, is simply click the open box, right? And it's going to auto populate. You have to choose the account that you added. So if you have all three, guys, this is a, a really, uh, a really big thing I want to hit on. Please don't add all three products. Don't add Elevate, Freedom, and Paradise all to one MetaTrader account. That's why it's good to have three separate live trading accounts. If you are subscribed to all three, um, please don't attach them because that's where problems and, and communication errors can happen. And we just don't want that. And so uh, make sure you have three separate trading accounts. And so whatever account that you added, it will auto populate here. You'll click that, that account. It will be added here. And for freedom, guys, let's talk about lot size allocation. This is a big question that a lot of people have. Um, there's going to be some new features getting added, I, I believe, uh, potentially this weekend. Um, and, and it's going to be added to the smart lot size uh, option. And so, I mean, if you are like brand new into this market and you have no idea what trading is and you're like, I don't know what to do. Smart lot size is definitely the best option, especially for freedom. Um, Cause how smart, how freedom trades guys. And I kind of want to dig into that a little bit um, with how freedom trades. If you are subscribed to freedom, um, it, it kind of has like a grid system sort of trading method. That means that, you know, using the smart lot size, let's just say that, for example, that you are, are entering, going in for a trade. And maybe I should actually, just for to make this a little bit more of an in-depth training for all of you guys, and hopefully you guys will appreciate this. Um, let's just go to Euro USD real quick. Open up the chart. Oh, yeah, this will be great. So for example, say that this is the market, right? This is the Euro versus the US dollar. And let's just say that we're, the freedom starts you know, entering into trades. And so how freedom trades is basically it, as it starts, it starts using a grid system, meaning that it will enter a trade here, it'll enter a trade here, enter a trade here, enter a trade here. And it will start spacing it out by like, you know, 10 to 15 pips per position. Um, and we're all heading, all these are for the long position or the buy position, basically predicting that the market is going to go up. And so as the market is coming down, it, it starts cost price averaging itself into the market. And so let's say that first lot size, that first position is like a 0 0.0, a 0 0.01, right? And as it kind of goes in, it's going to try again with that same position with a 0 0.01. And after two positions, it's going to slowly start to increase its lot size. So say we went from a 0 0.01 to a 0 0.03 lot size. And the lot size, guys, if for any of you guys that are new here, it's the multiplier. It's basically the risk that, that is on that trade. Um, and there's a whole calculation, um, very simple mathematical equation to figure out, well, for every hip that it goes, how much am I risking? And basically with a 0 0.01, you are, are risking 10 cents, 10 cents per pip that the market goes. Um, so hopefully that I, I can write out that equation if you guys want me to. Um, I'll open up the floor for a Q&A at the very end. Um, but again, this I'm just kind of showing you how it trades, what to expect with free, the Freedom Trader if you guys are on that. And it's going to be entering in for these long positions. So a, a 0 0.01 here, 0 0.01 here, 0 0.03, 0 0.03. And then as you, it kind of starts to slowly increase cost price average in, and then it's what the main goal is that that last position is trying to hedge out all of the other positions that it was in. Um, and so that's what smart lot does. Now, guys, if you, if you uh, happen to, um, let me go back to the echo trade bot system here. If you guys happen to use the fixed lot size guys, and I, I don't suggest this just because if you do this and you do a fixed lot size of, of a 0 0.10, then you know you're going to run into some problems. You're going to run into some issues because if you do this, um, if you do a point a point one zero and the fixed lot size, it's going to use that. It's literally going to use that lot size every single time, and it's not going to use the scaling feature. It's not going to use the cost price averaging. It's just literally going to go 0 0.10, 0 0.10, 0 0.10, 0 0.10. And you're going to be in, in, um, 
you know, you're going to be using up a lot of your margin and it's just really risky. And so coming here, I believe this weekend is what I was told um, with the smart lot setting. Let's just say, cause there's all, there's a different range of you guys, as far as risk tolerance goes, there's some that are really conservative. And then there's real, there's some of you that are really aggressive and there's going to be a little multiplier here on the side. And so whenever you're on smart lot and the um, freedom trader sends in a trade, um, it's gonna, it's gonna, basically you have a multiplier to say, well, whatever the, the smart lot um, size uh, option gives me, I wanna multiply that by either you know, two or, or, or three. You know? And so you guys can kind of, you'll be able to choose what kind of um, you know, conservative or aggressive setting you wanna choose. So hopefully that helps. Um, hopefully that kind of helps you paint a picture of how it trades. And then of course, after that last position, you kind of see what the market did here, it followed through. With the long position and all of these these buys were no longer in drawdown but they are in profit and that's that's the goal of, of freedom um if we go back to uh you know let's say that you're on on uh paradise now paradise trades very similar to freedom but it it literally it, it will add the same lot size every time um and more like a lower lot size so it kind of trades very similar to freedom elevate is the only one that's different and um, guys, this is really good news to have with, if you are configured to elevate, this has a 10 pip stop loss and a 10 pip uh, take profit, right? And so this is just a very, a back to the market. If the market is, is moving, moving up or down, it's, it's gonna have a, a 10 pip stop loss and a 10 pip take profit and say this middle one was the entry one. And so either way it goes, it's going to pull out at 10 or, or pull out um, um, in 10 pips profit. And so there's not much you can do there that that's just how it trades. But when it trades, a lot of people have a questions of, well, when does Elevate actually execute trades? Well, it executes trades for, it has a four hour window of time. Really, I think it starts at 7 a.m. And then 8, 9, 10, 11. I think it actually starts at 8 a.m. maybe, and it goes all the way to, 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 to noon, um, and that's Mountain Daylight Time. So don't be expecting trades for London session. It's usually like a New York session uh, trader. And so it has a, has a turn on time and a turn off time. So don't be surprised if like, well, why am I not getting trades like throughout the entire day? It has a four hour period of time just because that's, that's the most um, valuable time to trade in the markets. Um, if I just pull this up, real quick we pull up forex market hours guys there's four different sessions that the foreign exchange markets operates in it's london it's new york it's sydney it's tokyo and right in that sweet spot you can see why we have the trader on around that time um it's because it's literally where london markets and the new york markets it overlaps each other and this is a very it's very volatile time but with volatility becomes um you know opportunity and so that's where we have the trader on for Elevate. So it's on for that really sweet spot of time in the markets. And, um, and then it kind of turns off for the rest of the day until the next day. So just keep that in mind. Um, I know I've been seeing a, a couple of support tickets run through like, well, my Elevate trader is not trading like at all. And it's just a very select time that it's on. So um, keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, guys, that, that kind of, that kind of uh, wraps everything up as far as um, how to get your whole thing set up from A to Z. I now want to open up the uh, just chat for um, Q&A. If I've answered everything, awesome. If not, please just, you know, uh, you can either unmute your mic too. That's fine if you want to just talk or if you just want to type it in the chat for everyone to see. Um, it'll probably help everyone out too. So that, that is that. How many people we got in here? We have 16 people here today. Great. Tim, what's up? Steve, Sadie, Ray, Maurice, Mark, Curtis, Jennifer. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is Maurice here. Hey, Maurice, how are you, man? Hey, not bad, not bad. I, I just signed on literally just this week. I um, cut on the bot. Um, you know, okay. no, it's been, it's been doing some trades and everything. Everything is great. Yeah. Um, I had a question about, 
I saw, I saw a section in, in the Telegram when you go to the Echo Trade Bot. Mm -hmm. um, it says uh, like a trade acceptance. And then when I click on that, um, it's, it, it gives me some options to accept, you know, to accept open trades or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it, it says you know it's not it's not I'm not able to do it until uh, Saturday, um, eight p.m. GMT time and Sunday, ten p.m. GM, GMT time GMT time or something like that. Um, does that have to do with the the bot as well, or is that something totally different from? Mm -hmm. um, I, that would be something different, um, honestly. What you really just have to really think, um, if you go to, so hold on, I cancel real quick. Um, if you go back to the Echo Trade dashboard and where you see all the Echo Forex, so you hit Echo Forex and then you um, go to Echo FX Broadcast. If you hit that and these products show up, that means you're active. That means that one, the, the product is, is registered. Um, okay. And so, yeah, you, you should be good um, on, on all of that. And so after that, then if you go to echo trade, echo tradebot.com and log in and um, your, your subscriptions are still, still there um, and still active, yeah. then, yeah. then you should be fine. Um, I think that's just something we have to talk with our, our tech team about, um, about that trade acceptance okay. thing. So, but yeah, thanks for bringing that up, man. Um, and then uh, Sadie, or Curtis, back to Curtis, 0.16 too much. Could it be risky with a $2,900 account using Freedom using 0.16? Yeah, again, Curtis, um, when you, you're, you're using fixed lot size and you're using a 0.16 lot size, back to our, our lovely chart here, um, instead of the smart lot size, like cost price averaging itself in and increasing its position as it goes, all of these would be 0.16 as it kind of goes down. And so Again, that's like kind of like how Paradise trades too. And so 0.16, I mean, if we really, if we want to do the math there real quick, and the equation is, is pips times micro pips. And this is an equation that you guys probably want to write down because this will help you figure out how much you're, you're risking at one time. Pips times micro pips times lot size equals the amount of money that you're risking. So for example, let's say that the, the, the trade goes 50 pips and um, sorry, this is a constant 10. So 10 micro pips, that's the equation times 10 micro pips because there's 10 micro pips to every pip times a, a point, like even a point 10 lot size, right? We'll just kind of go through a few um, bracketed options. So this would be $50, right? That'd be $50 that you'd be risking. Um, and so that's kind of how, how that kind of works. And so if we, same, same equation, same trade, but say someone else came in and decided to do a, um, like a 0.50 lot size, then you guys can kind of see the difference between 0.10 to 0.5 or 0.5, because this is risking $1 per pip. This is risking uh, $5 per pip. So your 0.16 is risking a dollar and 60 cents per pip. Um, and so this would be 250, right? And then just for the last example, times 10 micro pips times 1.0 lot size equals uh, 500, right? So that's, that's the difference. When you're risking a, a full standard, that would be $10 per pip that the market goes either positive or negative on you. And so hopefully this kind of answers your question. Um, two nine, I mean, 2,900, if you just do the math, like guys, this is just some good math to do. If you kind of like say, okay, well, how many pips would the market need to go on a 0.16 lot size in order to blow my account? But if you have multiple, let's just say that again, freedom enters into four of those positions, right? Let me just pull up our, handy dandy calculator here, wherever that went, here it is. And you do 0.16, you know, times four positions, you're gonna be risking $6.40. We just moved the decimal over one place. That's $6.40 per pip 
And in my opinion for, for that type of account, that's, that's kind of, um, it's kind of a lot, <laughs> especially if it enters into four, four positions on 0.16. So um, when that multiplier, like I was saying, there's going to be that multiplier setting added to the smart lot. It's going to still scale in, but you have a, you'll have that choice to multiply what, whatever the lot size that was originally going to come in and multiply that by, you know, either two or three or four. Um, I don't know the exact settings that are going to be coming out, but I just know that's coming out. So definitely be keeping your eyes peeled for this weekend. That's when they, they said they were going to get at it. Um, let's say uh, for the next question, I just want to get you guys uh, one by one. Bum, bum, bum. Um, Sadie, could it be risky or, or not to use 0 0.02 at the 250 account? Um, same, same concept, Sadie. So if you plug in your, your 0 0.02 lot size um, into the amount of pips, and you're with uh, 0 0.02, are you, I'm guessing you're with Elevate. And so, I mean, 0 0.02 lot size with Elevate, that's, I mean, it's a 10 pip stop loss, right? So you're risking 20 cents, 20 cents per pip. So if you do 20 cents, 0.2 times 10 pips per trade, I mean, you're gonna be risking like $2 tops and then it's a, or risking two bucks to make two. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So. 0 0.02, to be honest with you, is not risky at all. Um, you could probably step that up more. Like even if you did a 0 0.10, 0 0.10 times 10, right, is, is a full dollar. Um, so $10, well, yeah, a dollar per pip, $10. So you'd be, uh, yeah, you'd be actually risking $10. $10. Um, $10 stop loss and a $10 take profit. So that answers your question. Um, we can't connect Freedom and Paradise to the same account. They have to be separate. Yes, Steve, they have to, please, please do not add all your accounts to the same, uh, to this, don't add all the broadcasting systems to the same account because again, that's where connection issues can go, margin calculations. It's just not a pretty picture. And it's good to separate the trades so you can see, well, this is how Freedom's performing purely and this is how Paradise is performing. And you guys can basically see how, how that's running. So um, on Echo Trade Bot, I'm not seeing the broadcasting option. Interesting. So Mr. iPhone <laughs> or, or, or Miss iPhone, I don't know <laughs> either one that you are. So when you come to your, um, your trade panel, you're not seeing, are you, what are you seeing? Are you seeing Echo Forex at all? Because you have to make sure you hit Echo Forex, not Echo Options or Echo Crypto or Future. Um, you have to get to Echo Forex. Once you click that, Echo FX broadcast should pop up for you. If it doesn't, um, then we'll have to I'll, we'll have to message our, our tech team on that. Um, let's see here. Uh, we can't connect. Uh, very helpful. Can we enter our own trades into Freedom? Uh, great question, Steve. I just wouldn't suggest it. So if like, if you have your own like personal, uh, if you have your own personal trades that you want to do, like again, have your personal trading account separate where you enter all your own personal trades, have freedom, have its own lane, have paradise, have its own lane, have elevate, have its own lane and just have it, have it go because connecting that many uh, broadcasting systems is like I said, we've, we've ran into issues in the past with that. And we just don't, we don't want those issues for you guys. Um, so elevate and paradise together um, is bad. I just followed setup instructions that were provided. My telegram says I have both. Yes. So you, you have both, you subscribe to both uh, Jennifer. Um, but again, like I have all three here. Right. And um it basically, it just means that like, okay, Elevate, Paradise, and Freedom. I want a separate live trading account for each one. So even though I have all three, I don't want them all connected to one account. I missed the beginning. Where can I watch the replay? Yeah, one, two, six, nine, three. Uh, this is being recorded. So the recording will be posted in the announcement channel that you got the Zoom link from. So um, hang tight on that. If Elevate only trades in four hours, how many trades will you see per day? How would you make good profit this way? Great question, Hernie. So, I mean, 
with how many now how many trades that executes in that four hours i it's it's it varies because of market conditions it has the it has to have the right conditions in order to take the trade very similar to how a pilot will will take off right he he says he's on the runway he's about to go you know he's done all the checks the plane looks really good he's fully filled up but then some stormy weather moves in and the conditions to fly are not good well then they'll call off the flight and bring you know bring the plane back to the terminal so it has to have the right conditions if that pilot's you know all the planes good the weather's good boom it's going to take off it's going to execute that trade um then that's that's how it's gonna that's how it's gonna go and so to answer your question it's like um i mean it's hard to say like either you're gonna see one or maybe you'll see three trades in that in that time period um and that's why i'm saying like if you if you were to increase your lot size guys because you have full you have full range you have full control over um let's just go to elevate real quick right you have full range over the lot size. And so if you do the math and it's, a, it's going to be a 10 pip take profit and a 10 pip stop loss, then you can basically say, well, Hey, if it's 0 0.01 lot size, then think about it. That's you're risking 10 cents per pip. And if it hits that, that 10, that um, 10 pip take profit, you're making a buck, right? Well, that's why, you know, you can step up the lot size more, and until it starts to make sense to you, like, okay, well, if it goes 10 pips, maybe if I want it to, and if you have a, a bigger account, now this isn't for those $250 or $500 accounts, say you have a, a little bit bigger account on Elevate and you want those trades, well, then you could simply just go like, well, I want a lot size of, um, let's say it goes 10 pips, right, times 10 micro pips. Let me just do the math real quick. And then you do point, so you did point like, three right that's risking three dollars per pip you know and you guys can just play around with this um this equation and figure out what's going to work best for you guys in your account um but that's risking three dollars per pip and so instead of 10 that'd be ten dollars 20 30 you I mean that'd be thirty dollars that you'd make or risk per trade so you're going to make thirty dollars or lose thirty dollars on that trade with a point a point three zero lot size and so depending on your account i mean if you have like a 250 dollars account i probably wouldn't be using point threes i'd probably be using something a lot more but i mean from what we've seen in the past hernie um i mean it yeah again it it'll enter either one to three trades in that four hour period of time um, or sometimes it won't enter any trades for that day because again the conditions that it was looking for just purely wasn't there so hopefully, hopefully that answers your question, but play around with that lot size, figure out, well, I'm willing to risk this much um, to make this much. And again, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So so that's, that's, what we, that's what we have so far. So it's best to not be on smart lot with Elevate then. Correct. Even if you were on smart lot with elevate, it's going to trade. That's just how it's like formatted to trade with, um, with that. It's formatted to take, take profit at 10 pips or take the loss at 10 pips. Yeah. So play around with that equation that I, I gave you guys. This goes for everyone on the chat and just, just go play around with it. It's like, well, if the market goes 10 pips or if the market goes 50 pips on you know, freedom or whatever, you guys can figure out how much you're risking. I think it's really important to figure out like, well, how much am I actually risking? Because a lot of people don't know. And then if you don't know and the market like totally turns on you, you're going to be asking for a, a tough day. <laughs> um, you're like well i was unaware of how much money i was risking but now you guys know so so any more any more questions for today's webinar you guys have been great asking wonderful questions there's no such thing as a dumb question all questions are great questions so hey it's um, uh maurice again i had one more okay um Shoot. I was um I was uh, trying to configure my accounts for the uh, you know for the bot. So um mm -hmm. I'm I'm assuming that um 
elevate you would um, configure it as a micro account um, paradise will be just a regular ecn and then um a freedom would be like a gold account i'm using lqd uh, oh, okay lqd effects. so um yeah nice yeah nice um yeah so that's that's like so, that's um, a great they, they had those different options mm -hmm. and they all like ecn is a is a tighter spread but you know they, yeah. they charge you commission gold is commission free but higher spread and then a uh, micro is i'm not actually i haven't traded on too many micro accounts so if you if you know what they okay. do with micro um then that would probably be best but then i mean technically for all of them like i've i've chosen gold accounts for, okay. for all of them um just because like commissions can really eat at your profits so and a freedom especially for freedom i mean the amount of trades that freedom does yeah gold would probably be the best bet but for elevate i mean um if you know what micro does um as far as like as far as its spread structure goes then and if that makes sense to you then go for it like i said i mean elevate okay. 10 pip take profit 10 pip stop loss so um if you and then the but amount of trades it does it's it varies like i said so but you say this i can i can do just gold on all of them it doesn't really matter yeah i've i've done gold on all of them i'm i'm also with lqdfx and um and that's that's worked well so far so haven't had any issues um what provider would you suggest for a cash transfer instead of bitcoin that's a great question curtis there's a lot of um i mean if you're really wanting that then you, you would have to go with us brokers and a lot of U.S. brokerages and their and their leverages are max out at one to fifty because of CF, uh, CFTC rules. Um, they're really strict, and they don't really provide too much. They don't allow foreign exchange brokerages to provide too much. But I do. There is one that I can think of that will that will do it, and I believe that's uh, FXChoice.com. Um, I mean, let's just that's a great question just to solidify here fxchoice.com let's see what pops up here yeah i mean this i mean i believe this will go to one to 200 in their in their uh in their leverage and i think i believe you can deposit with oh deposit options yeah, so you can go with with right here. This is what you're looking for. You can with fund and with account your uh, fund your account easy ways. Bank, Bitcoin, AstroPay, Perfect Money. But it looks like they could do an ACH transfer from your bank to FX Choice. That's one of them. Don't you know? If it, please go do more research if you feel like, well, I want to check out if there's other brokerages. I'm sure there's other brokerages that can do, but FX Choice is the one that I I know of. So. Perfect. Well, I'll, I'll allow like three more minutes for questions. Um, after that, and we're we're gonna wrap this up. And usually, guys, these webinars happen every every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. We had to push it back. I was actually just at the corporate offices in Utah, um, just getting uh, you know just going over some things and meeting the team. That was my first time meeting them in person, and and so that was a it was a fun trip. So. We have a lot of exciting updates coming too, um, with some new products, and it's gonna be it's gonna be really sweet. So, um, the amount of updates that we're doing, no one in the industry is actually has done with the new updates that are coming. So, um, definitely stay tuned for that. That's gonna be it's gonna be game changing for sure, and especially with how we will be connected directly into the APIs of 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 the MetaTrader itself. So, if there is and if there was any lag on trades, if there was any of that, it's it's going to be eliminated almost completely. <laughs> so, and trades are trades are going to be firing off. Especially we have a new um, a new product that's coming in. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet, but all I can say it's really cool. <laughs> so, um, so I have a Paradise account, 
and on $1,040 and I've only made 24 in the month. Is this normal? I'm on smart lot. So yes. So with paradise again, um, I'm on smart lot smart, how paradise trades. That's where you kind of have the full, full, uh, the full capacity to, and the freedom to go and change your lot size. And that's what we were talking about. So if you were to do, you can do fixed lot size with, um, like, like with the uh, paradise trader, let me just go pull that up real quick. Um, and you don't have to do smart lot for it because it's going to simply do the same lot size again and again and again. I might have to re, re log in because it kicked me out. One moment. Okay. Okay, so with Paradise, it's gonna, you know, smart lot size, if you were to do fixed lot size, you know, you don't really have to worry about, don't, and if you are doing fixed lot size, you don't really have to worry about the maximum stop loss and pips and take profits really, because it's it, how it trades is, is again, it's kind of like a grid system, but with the same lot size. So let's just do some like simple math, uh, Jennifer. Is it Jennifer? Yeah, Jennifer made that similar question. Um, I'll say that you do the lot size on your on your ten thousand forty dollar account. Usually, a lot size that would make sense. We have to think of like the worst possible thing that could happen in the market, and how many how many times that position would be multiplied, right? So we have like a point. Say if you did even like a point ten, right? A 0.10 lot size, that means you're risking a dollar per pip and it enters into seven positions. So say it gets into seven positions on your account, it's cost price averaging itself down. Boom, it's adding 0.10, 0.10, 0.10, 0.10, 10, and it just keeps it just keeps on going. Um, then you would be risking, you know, if it gets up to seven positions, that's seven dollars per pip, which is is honestly quite a lot. Because now if we do a 0.70 lot size, let's so say the market moved from your worst position and it moved down, uh, say it moved down like 50 pips, just for example. So 50 times 10 times like a 0.7, there'd be, you'd be risking about 350, $350 on, 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 that, on that certain trade. And I'm not saying it would be 350 directly because of how it cost price averages. So from the worst position and it got drops 50 pips, you would be down like $50 on a 0.10 from the worst position. If the, does that make sense? Um, so let's just say that from this position right here, instead of a, a point, um, let's see here. Can I just, there we go. Point one, point one lot size. Because like smart lot guys is going to be automatically conservative. That's why we're going to be adding that multiplier setting to bring up it from like conservative to intermediate to more of a aggressive. But from the worst one, say this dropped 50 pips from the worst position right here. And you'd be down fifty dollars, and then this position might be down forty dollars, and this one might be down thirty dollars, and this one might be down ten dollars. Does that make sense? How that works, Jennifer? Yeah, thank you. I just, um, I just don't know if I should just leave it as is and just let it do its thing, or if I should change some of those. I mean, I know it's all about my aggressiveness or not, but mm -hmm. on a thousand dollars, I'm just like, I don't want to lose yeah. all my money either but i oh, wanted to kind of make course. a little bit more than 24 dollars. yeah definitely and so what do you know what the lot size that it's trading at right now is it just point um, zero ones or? you know i don't know i don't think i ever i think i just left it whatever it was when i signed up so probably okay. point, point zero one, probably if you've only made 24 dollars um yeah so i mean I a bunch of trades that have been open for weeks and they're like i'm like negative 50 right now Oh, like floating, floating yeah. positions. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you go, do you have like that MetaTrader 4 terminal? Did you add the account to your phone so you can see the trades that are going in? Uh, on top 
Instagram or you, on the uh, MetaTrader app. Yeah, on the MetaTrader app on your phone. Uh, yeah. You can see the lot size that it's been doing, even if you go to like the history part of that account, and then you'll see um, those lot sizes. It'll, it, you'll see like, it'll say the trade, and then it will say like a 0.01. Oh, yeah, they're all 0.01. They're all 0.01. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if we if we were just to scale that up with the amount of profit that you're seeing and the drawdown that you're in currently, um, you know, you multiply, you take that to a 0 0.02, then you just multiply the profit that you had seen by two. If you do a 0 0.03, you'd multiply by three and so on and so forth. And so whatever feels comfortable to you, I mean, we, in, in foreign exchange markets, I mean, risk is part of the game too. Uh -huh. so like, well, okay. What's, what's your, like, what's your ceiling? Like, what's your limit? Are you like, are you like, okay, I'm willing to like at least be in drawdown of like a hundred bucks or 150 bucks at a, at a time to make, to make that, to make that back, to make $150. And so it's like, what is your threshold? And everyone, everyone, um, everyone's uh, thermostat is different <laughs> for the yeah. market. But. So I would leave it as smart lot and then change the lot size, or do I have to use fixed? Um, well, either way. So fixed lot size or smart paradise is going to trade that same way. It's, smart lot oh. is just is is just a fixed lot size that is continued to be used. Oh, okay. um, so if you switch it to fix, there's no difference. You don't even have to, again, change the, the stop loss or the take profits because it trades on a grid system, meaning that, like I was saying here, grid system, it just, it just, it's a cost price averager. So uh -huh. as it kind of just goes down, it's just entering like every 15 pips, it's going to enter another position or, or every 20 pips, it's going to enter another position. And so the max, there's a max thing that you can also do, um, on on that there's a setting that you can that you can say like well i don't want to be entered into more than this many positions i wonder if that's in my account or my my profile there is a way to do that um but as far as it goes for oh maybe it actually is in do meditators hold on sorry if you've repeated some of this i just didn't quite understand Oh, no, 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 you're totally fine. It's a great question. So um, for this, this, like this account, like for example, with maximum trades, it says uh -huh. the, the default's 40 and 100. Uh -huh. um, but if you wanted to come back and you, this is under the view MetaTrader tab and you click on your MetaTrader account that's tied to Paradise, you can come to the maximum trades and say, well, I don't want it to venture more than like six or seven positions. So then you already know like, okay, well that's the cap. And then you could figure out the lot size and saying, well, okay, if it was a 0.10 lot size, the max I'm risking is $7 per pip, you know, to the worst degree, if it was to ever get into full seven. How many trades are you currently in right now and floating? Um, if you go to your open trade terminal. Yeah. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's a down negative 75, 68. Okay. And what pair is that on? Or which, which, uh, which currency pair is that Euro USD? Oh, um, it's all odd CAD. All odd CAD. Okay. Yeah. I'm just curious because I was like looking at the markets and seeing where things are. And is it taking? Usually, it seems to be like that's the worst one for me. Okay. So I'm guessing it's taking, it's trying to take long positions and it's going short, right? Currently. Yeah. So it's probably what it's doing right now. This is a great example. It, it's cost price averaging in. It says that, well, I wanted to take a buy here. I wanted to take a buy here. I wanted to take a buy here. And it's this, all these positions are, of course, are currently in drawdown and it's coming. Um, I know this might sound like really crazy trader, trader terms, but it's coming to a really heavy support um, in the market, which is good. And so this whole level right here, it's coming to a really good support. So I don't think you really have to worry too much. Um, usually for how I've, I've been trading for like the last five years. And so usually how market reacts to these levels, there should be a rebound and that's what it's looking to catch. It's looking to catch that rebound back up to the upside. So once this thing fires up, boom all of these positions that were in drawdown will be in profit and then they'll they'll take profit that's how that's how it trades if that gives you any insight on that yeah okay yeah so hopefully thank you so you, much yeah, yeah hopefully that gives you some confidence <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i know the market's been down but i was just kind of feeling like there were people that were making a lot more than me and they were like an elevate and i just thought wait that's so weird but maybe they're changing, <laughs> maybe they're changing their yeah and that's where like you know we can't 
purely suggest like okay you guys have to use this lot size yeah for ftc reasons it's just like that we we can't do that so it's like we have to give the power to the customer but we of course want to educate the customer as much as we can as far as what what they need to do um to maximize the amount of profit for the account that they have and yet don't put them into a point of of risk where it's just too much where you've gone too far and your account's almost gone that's not our yeah yeah i get Um, that for sure yeah so yeah, hopefully that kind of all makes sense to you and and how it enters positions and and so if you ever at one so if you're you said you're floating fifty negative fifty dollars drawdown negative seventy eight oh no. negative seventy eight yeah. so negative seventy eight dollars drawdown and if you simply just do the math and you were to increase the lot size um, more let's say you just multiplied that by three I mean with a thousand dollar accounts even by multiplying it by three. I mean, everyone, I have a different risk tolerance, but 210, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be terrible. Like that'd be like absolutely max. So do 0.03? Yeah. Or 0.3? Um, not a 0.3. That would be oh, way 0.03. Different. Yeah. Yeah. Big difference. <laughs> 0.3 would definitely blow your account. Um, yeah. But 0.03. Yeah. And maybe taking that lot size up a notch. You know, you kind of have to figure out, I mean, if this is your first time and you're seeing drawdown for the first time and it's going down, you're like, oh, you know, you start like kind of uh, your gut starts freaking out a little bit and you're like, oh, this is not good. And you're not used to seeing the red. Usually anytime in trading that I've seen in the past, every trade has to go negative before it goes positive. Yeah. <laughs> of course, there is that time where, I mean, like if it was already like past this support level in the market and the market was like already further down, then you know, I would probably be a little bit more like, okay, um, this thing looks like it's going to continue to go down, but there should be some sort of rebound, not, not maybe not like a full on, like a full on blast up to the upside all the way up here, but there should be some sort of reaction into this level. And so you should, you should be fine. I'm not going to promise you are going to be right. Right. No, I'll (laughs) definitely take it all with a grain of salt. Yeah. But that's your little market analysis for Oddcad. So, yeah. um, but great. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Any more questions at all? Anybody? This is your time to ask. These webinars are for you guys. So Austin, Sadie, Tim, Curtis. But yeah, if you if you've enjoyed today's webinar, guys, just put a one in the chat for the last people that are here (laughs) we had about 18 before but okay great a lot of ones from sadie (laughs) that's good um wonderful guys well yeah we're gonna wrap up today's webinar thank you again for attending we'll see you guys uh, monday uh well actually this next monday Next, well, no, no, sorry, not next Monday, Tuesday, right? Tuesday. See, I'm getting my days mixed up myself. So, Tuesday, uh, 10 a.m., Mountain Daylight Time. We'll see you guys there. Um, go over the same process, answer more questions you guys may have, and uh, yeah, get you guys rolling. So, thank you again. Have a great day. God bless. Take care.